um, it's fantastic to have Waterford and Offaly coming through at junior level. It's obviously great for uh, Waterford on their first visit to Crow Park uh, for an All Ireland final. It's great for Offaly to make a, be making a return visit, and I'm sure they'll be working hard to overturn last year's you know results. I know they were very disappointed after last year's defeat. At senior level, it's fantastic. Obviously, the Cork and Kilkenny are renewing old rivalries, um, and you know there hasn't really been that inter-county rivalry at senior level for a long time. So it's a little bit like Back to the Future on that one. Obviously, having Anne Downey and Denise Cronin managing the two teams is a, a serious coincidence given their kind of uh, rivalry as players um, in the 80s and, 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 for, and during the past. We've played them already in Championship and they were a very tough team. Like I said, we got two goals to get us out of jail, really. And we won't be taking them for granted at all. They have a lot of experience. They've won a lot of underage titles. So, you know, they won't be overawed by the occasion. So we're really treating them with a lot of respect. This Championship was the toughest one in a number of years for all the teams you know there was five and six teams that could have qualified out of the groups and I think next year it's going to be even tougher again you can see Kilkenny coming through Galway and Wexford will be back again Tipperary are building again you know so it's only a matter of time and it's good for the game that there's such competition to get to the final I think the 90s there was a big rivalry between Cork and Kilkenny and this should could be the start of another rivalry again you know Kilkenny are so such a young team coming through and this is their big breakthrough year so it'll be definitely be tough for us to compete. That's amazing, so it is. We haven't been in it since 2001. A lot of the, our players are young, so we're just happy to be here now, to be honest. We had a very physical game against Galway in the semi-final. Went out one by two points in the end. I think I could be on Bridge Cork, I can't wait. I know they're a very good team. They've got very good players and very experienced compared to us. They're a very experienced team. But we'll just go out and we'll give it a go and see what happens. Just give our best. Preparations have gone well for the last number of weeks since the semi-final. Um, no injuries to report, you know. Um, and just everyone that we, we needed, you know, to be available is available on Sunday. And for years, you know, through the 80s and 90s, they were the team to beat. And when you come up to a, an All-Ireland final and end up, you know, marking and only, you know, you're kind of blessing yourself realistically, walking over and hoping everything goes well. But... Uh, it was a surreal day for me because we ended up winning um, and I said a lot of the time afterwards we ended up marking one another again and they were tough battles. I'd say the same will happen on Sunday. It's Cork have a great tradition, you know, and they have great experience and you can't buy experience, to be quite honest. And while the girls have played under 16, under 18 and won all Ireland's intermediate and colleges, I suppose it's a different kettle of fish when you're playing senior camogie. Um, the level, the step up, like, you know, from under 18 is massive. Um, but if they've risen to the challenge, you know, and they know that it's going, they're going to be in a battle on Sunday. But as I said, we've prepared well and it's all got down to the day at this stage. I have 12 all Irelands myself. Um, I, I captained the, the, my first team in '87, to, you know, which was a great honour. And um, the second time was '94, and that's the last time that Kilkenny won it. So I'm kind of sick of having that mantle around my neck. So I'm hoping that Dalton will put that right on Sunday.